Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another MTC, the Make the Call series that brings value to you guys. I really do appreciate you guys uh, watching, listening. Uh, this episode is going to be, we're going to make a call to a school. I was in the Facebook group and, you know, everybody that's interested that's coming into the uh, trucking industries always come with the same questions man and the question is how do i get into trucking which route should i take should i go to a should i go to a truck driving school and pay buku's money or should i go to a trucking company that offers a cdl schooling and work for them to pay them back for paying for my license which route to take now there's so many trucking companies that's offering cdl programs for people that don't have cdls all right some of them are good some of them are bad some of them is downright nasty but there are some trucking schools out here that you guys could try to get your uh, CDLs. And the benefits of going through a school versus going through uh, a trucking company is that you're free to choose what company that you want to go to. And you're not obligated to any of them versus going through a trucking company you're pretty much obligated to them for three four five six seven eight nine ten months and then if you don't fulfill the contract then they're going to come after you for their money once you go through a school you pay for it you pay for it out of pocket you're done your license is free and clear and yours you can go to abc trucking company efg comp uh trucking company you can go to any other trucking company that your heart desires so in today's episode we're going to make a call to tennessee trucking school They are located in, let's see, Station Road. No, wait, wait, wait. Okay, they're located 4401 Singleton Station Road, Louisville, Tennessee. Their phone number is 865-330-0035. And what makes this trucking school so special? Special, you want to ask? Hmm. Y'all want to know what makes this trucking school so special? Well, their program, which is a three week program, requires, listen here now, listen here, no money down and no credit checks. But it it do require that you guys have a valid checking account. So before y'all before y'all go to this school or choose this school. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, where was I? Um, no upfront tuition with this trucking school, but you do have to have your uh, your checking account. So make sure that you guys get a checking account before you guys check out this schooling but with no upfront tuition and no credit check you guys might have a good opportunity to go to tennessee truck driving school located in Louisville, tennessee so without further ado let's find out what this company is without further ado let's find out what this trucking school is all about with the no upfront tuition how do they get paid how do they how do they get their money? How do they make that money from you guys? How is it that they can give you guys the opportunity of not paying up front 
for uh for their tuition now before i make before we get into the call which is already in progress let's find out what the tuition and the licenses expenses are finance tuition five thousand dollars paid in full upfront tuition four thousand dollars so if you decide to just say hey i want to pay for my tuition up front four thousand dollars that's about it uh application fee two hundred dollars dot physical 75 drug test 50 mvr background 40 class a cdl permit 14 dollars and class a cdl fee 70 dollars so of course the cost of the program is five thousand dollars and there's about three hundred dollars worth of fees that you would need for your physical your drugs your cdls and yada 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 so forth and so on but you don't have to pay all of that up front if you don't want to you see 95 percent of the companies they will place the students with will have up to six seven thousand dollars into into cdl cdl tuition reimbursement hmm they will pay you for your schooling just not up front all they do is to finance they'll finance it for you and get the company you go to work for to help you pay for it that's not a bad thing it's not a bad thing so they do have a program a, a cdl three weeks of training and it requires no money out of your pocket what do you guys think about that is that is that good for you guys let's find out more about tennessee trucking school thank you for calling tennessee truck driving school for quality assurance your call may be recorded if you are interested in our program or if you are a current student please press one for recruiting and office staff if you're a former student or looking to do an education verification please press tennessee truck driving school this is taylor how can i help you taylor tennessee truck driving school see i i was in the facebook group and you know i got a lot of guys that comes in and 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 ask the same question like they want to know should they go to a truck driving school or should they go to a truck uh, a trucking company if they don't have their cdls so i am mm -hmm. cu i'm curious to know man let, let me just jump right into it man i came across you okay. guys I, I came across you guys and you guys is offering no upfront tuition. I look, mm -hmm. look, look. I, I I need to know. I, I I need to know the strings attached. I, I I just need to know how is it possible that with no credit check, no upfront tuition, I could come I can come in off the street and get it and get my CDLs from you guys without coming out of the pocket. Talk to me. Okay. Perfect. So what we would do is we would go through a brief application with you to see what companies you qualify for. Mm -hmm. As long as you qualify for one of the companies that we work with, we'll actually finance the cost of the tuition for you 100% with no credit check, like you said. Mm -hmm. So we'll actually get you working with a truck driving company who's going to help you pay back the cost of your tuition. So oh. right after you graduate, about two weeks later, they're going to cut us a check for $1,500. That's going to come right off the top of your loan. You're going to have about $3,800 left. Okay, hold, so hold, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. So, af so about two weeks after I, after I finish the program with you guys, which is how long exactly? How long is the program? It is three weeks long, okay. Monday through Friday from six a.m. to six p.m. Okay, so three after three weeks, I you know I get my CDLs and I'm boom, bam, boom. Uh, I get with a company that you guys work with, and then two weeks after that, you you send the bill to them. Mm hmm. We uh, do. It's for fifteen hundred dollars, and that's going to be your down payment. Mm -hmm. So, about two months later. After your training is done, because there's two training phases, there's the training where you need to obtain your CDL, and then there's the training through the company. Okay. You're going to end up making training paid during the, that time with the company, right, so you're right. going to be paid during that portion. 
you're because you're going to go out over the road with a truck driver trainer for two months. They're going to teach you how to do your job, teach you everything that you need to know. Right. At that point, you're going to be given your own truck. At that point, that's when you're going to start helping pay back the cost of your tuition. Oh. So it's going to be about fifty dollars per week. The company's also going to make a payment of about three hundred to five hundred dollars per week, depending on what company you go with. Depends on how much they're going to pay. So it's normally paid off in about six months. Okay, so let me ask you this. So I'm so technically, it's just no upfront tuition coming into you guys, but on the back end, while I'm while I'm driving, then I will be paying you back as well as the company will help me to pay you back, right? Correct. Yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I follow. I follow. You you guys just making it easy for us to come in without without the stress is that is that safe Correct. to say yes yes oh. so the only things that you're really going to have to pay for are going to be your permit your license your um your physical and those will be no more than about three hundred dollars okay 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 so what what companies do you guys uh work with as far as uh seeing you know what companies that i'm good for yeah, so we work with the eight major over-the-road carriers who hire student drivers. So we work with Stevens, we work with Total, we work with uh, CRST, we work with May, we work with um, Land Air, Danny Herman, Skyline, we work with Covenant, TMC. We work with some really great companies as well. All of these companies will get you in about the 800 to to $1,000 a week range plus benefits. Okay. Now let me ask you this. Now, now here's. I'm, I'm still looking for the string. I'm, I'm, I'm still looking for the string. What if? Mm-hmm. So let's just say, what if I, I, I get with the company. I finish up your program. I get with the company that you guys, uh, you guys suggest. But what if me and that company? don't see eye to eye what what if we don't jail well what if what if i decide to leave that company then what would be the fallback on me as far as you guys getting paid okay so what you would do is you would give us a call back here at the school you would tell us why and what's going on and why they're not seeing eye to eye with you Mm -hmm. and then we would put you with another company who would pay that company back the money that they paid to your tuition and they would pay that much onto your to on your tuition here so it wouldn't affect your loan too much if it was after your loan was paid off we do offer lifetime job placement here at the school Mm -hmm. so you would actually be able to give us a call even after that tuition was paid off and say hey taylor I really need a new job. I need something local. I need something dedicated. I need to be home more often. I said, okay, I have a whole department of people uh, dedicated to that. So that we would get you back there then. They would find something that would fit your needs. Okay, okay. Um, are you Now, let me ask you this. Uh, with the no money down, no credit check deal, is that just for people that's in the Tennessee area or for anybody that's, that's, that's all over the 48th state that's looking for a, a truck driving school such as you guys? So, so you, anywhere. You can be anywhere. So the only thing that would be a little bit different, it would, I'm assuming that you live in the state of Ohio. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So you would actually have two options. You would either need to obtain your permit before you came to school, mm-hmm. or you could come study with us that whole first week, because that whole first week of training is dedicated to getting your Class A CDL permit. Right. You can come study with us that whole first week travel back on that Friday morning, take that permit test in the state of Ohio, Mm -hmm. come back to Tennessee to do the rest of the two weeks of your training. Okay. 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 Now let me ask, now let me ask you this. Uh, what I had to, of course I will probably have to make my, you know, make my transportation down to you guys. You, you guys don't, don't, don't offer transportation hotel or nothing like that. Right. So we do offer housing. We do not offer transportation, oh. but we do have housing here. We do have townhouses that are two bedrooms. You would have to share a bedroom with one other person. It does have a full kitchen, so it's going to have a fridge, a stove, an oven, and a microwave. Um, you would have to bring any supplies that you may need to cook meals, like pots, plates, pans, silverware, all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, there is a laundry room, so you're going to be able to do laundry and things like that while you're here as well. Okay, okay. So tell me tell tell me the process of the three week process. What what would we be uh what would we be out there doing as far as uh the three weeks process go? 
So the first week would be all classroom. You're going to learn everything you need to know to get your class A CDL permit. Friday of the third week, you're going to take that CDL permit test, whether it be in the state of Ohio or the, it's whatever state that you hold your license in. Mm-hmm. After that, that second week, you're going to spend it out on the yard. You're going to learn things like pre-trip inspection, straight line backing, some basic shifting skills, and some basic maneuvering skills. Now, let, the let me third week. Let, let me ask you this because you know uh, I was in. Of course, I got you know I got you guys from a Facebook group, but it was a guy in the Facebook group that says that that trucking schools only teach you enough to get you your license. They don't. They don't show you how to cup. They don't show you how to how to disconnect they don't show you how to slide tandems or <clears throat> or anything like that uh what do you got to say to debunk that so not necessarily to debunk that so what we're going to do is we're going to help you do everything to get class a cdl license mm-hmm. once you graduate the company that you're going with you're going to go with spends another two months teaching you how to do everything to, about your job so you're going to have one-on-one instruction with a instructor from the company that you're going to work with for two months. So that will be covered completely. Before you're out all, ever on the road by yourself, you're going to have all the information in the world after spending two months on, in a truck with another man who knows how to do his job. Okay, okay. So so by the sounds of it, I'm, I'm, I'm liking this. Uh, you know, it sounds, uh, it sounds pretty cool. Uh, and it definitely sounds stress free, as far as financial wise. Uh, what if mm-hmm. at, what if at the end of the program, uh, it comes time for me to, you know, take the take the CDL A test with uh, DMV, uh, and let's just say that uh, I, I I don't get it on the first go around. Uh, would I be able to come back to you guys to cut? to get some more practice training in or what what will be the what what will what will happen on that like if i if i if i get, don't get it the first go around i don't get it the second go around is there you know is there a tier or something like that and what if i don't get it at all then would i still be responsible for uh what i you know being that i'm i don't have my license and I'm not put with a company that's going to pay you guys back. So would I still be responsible for the full fare? So you're actually not going to take the test of the DMV. You're going to take it here on our property with one of our CDL examiners, and you're oh. going to have three chances to do that. Okay. So if you fail it the first time, you're going to come back on that weekend. They're going to teach you everything that you missed. They're going to go over everything with you, make sure that you know what happened and why you failed. Mm-hmm. And then you're going to take it again. If you fail out again, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to go through a couple more days of training, and you're going to really find out what you missed that time. And then you're going to take it one more time. If you fail that third time, you would have to take it at the DMV at that point, but that never happens. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. So that's so that's three times right there. So, but what if, what if after you know we take it with DMV and we don't get it with them, then uh, would I still have to? Would I still, like I said before, would would the full fare, the tuition, be my responsibility? So that's up to the discretion of the um, the director of the school. Oh, okay. If he feels like you tried everything that you possibly could you're not responsible for it. But if he came in here and felt like you he hauled off, then yes. But he really does take pity on the people who who really tried the best they could. Now let me ask you this. Now I know you guys been in uh been in existence for uh quite a while because you know I'm reading uh reading the website which has very good information by the way. Um Thank you. What, what if uh what has there has there been any students uh, that was there that didn't make it all the way? I mean, that didn't make it all the way through? Um, no, that hardly ever happens. Um, and if it, like our graduation rate stays in the high 90s, it does fly, fluctuate a lot. And that mostly is just due to there's constantly people graduating. And there's constantly people coming through the program. So that would be what would make it fluctuate. Oh, okay. But 
it, it hardly ever happens. It is a rarity, and it sounds like you're pretty smart yourself, so I don't think you have a single problem. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Hold on for a second. <clears throat> I'm just now getting over pneumonia, so excuse me if I'm coughing too much. Um, no, you're fine. Uh, so basically, when I come when you know when I come into the school and everything. Um, as you said before, I'm going to, I'm going to get the basis, the fundamentals of driving the truck. Now, let me ask you this. Um, will some companies like, uh, like Swift Academy and others, uh, other trucking company that's, that's does schooling, majority of them is only doing it with automatic trucks, which means that I will automatically be restricted because... I didn't test out in a manual. Do you guys have manuals there that we can uh, test out in? We do have manuals that you can test out in. So what we would do is we would train you on whatever the company that you're going to work with uses. So after you got to that six months point where you're considered an experienced driver, you could then give us a call back here at the school and say, hey, I have hit my six months with this company and I still have this manual restriction on my license. I need to come back to the school and get that lifted. We're going to bring you back to the program for free with no cost Ooh, to you. Okay. And you're going to get that uh, manual restriction lifted. Now, in order to get that lifted, all all I just have to do is just come and, and, and just test out in the manual pretty much. Or, yeah. or whoa, 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 my, my fault, my fault. You said you was going to train us in a truck that's pertaining to that company. So if that company is automatic, then I would be trained in the automatic. But uh, if it's a manual, then I'll be trained in the manual. So when I yes. come back, when I come back to your schooling for free, ding, ding, for mm -hmm. free, then I, it's like what, an extra week out, extra couple of weeks out to, to, to learn the manual? It would take about three days. Three? Three days, man. Come on now. Come on. It's it, nothing. It, three days for the manual. I mean, come on now. Come on now. You 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 do you think three days is enough time for me to for for me to, you know, downshift because downshift is my clutch. I'm 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 just gonna throw it out there. Downshift downshifting, yeah, that 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 is my clutch. But you 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 think three days is enough for me to for me to for me to catch it? If not, we'll bring you through another day. Oh, okay, okay. That that's what's up. That's what's up. All right. So what? Um. All right. So what? Coming in, I know I don't need no money. Well, of course, I'm going to need some money when I when I come out there for my food and you're all that other good money. stuff. But you're going to have to pay for your fees as well. So that's like your DOT physical, your drug test, your CDL permit, your CDL exam, and your CDL license. But that's no more than about $300. So I'm going to have to come with uh, more, well, more than $300 because I'm still going to need some money for food. So what else do, you know, no credit check. So what else do I need to come in? Uh, what else do I need to come in uh, for the three weeks? Okay. So, well, it's a little bit of a process first. So what we would do is we'd go through an application with you to see what companies you qualify for. Mm -hmm. At the end of that, we would kind of have a conversation about what you were looking for company-wise. I would then shoot you over an application. Once you got that application filled out, you give me a call back here at the school. I would then contact the company for you, and we would get a pre-hire letter from the company saying that they're willing to hire you the second mm. you graduate school. Okay. After you graduate, you're going to go home for about a week, get everything together, get everything you need to be out on the road for at least two months at a time. Mm -hmm. You're going to roll down to wherever orientation is for the company that you're going to work with, and then you're going to start with that company. Okay. So we would have to take care of the application process, getting you that pre-hire, getting all your enrollment documents filled out, and then we can start planning a date for class. All right. Okay. Well, that's what's up. That's what's up. I think... Uh I, I I think uh I think I think this will do it. I think this will do it. I think I got enough uh enough information. Uh, it sounds awesome. I mean, again, stress free, uh, CDL training. I mean, you don't that, that's unheard of. Like, I mean, you know, you go to these trucking companies that's offering CDL training, and they got like they got like 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 people per you know per per session how how many people do you guys mm -hmm. do how, how many people do you guys have per session i mean is it like 30 is it one-on-one or 10 or what 
So every Monday morning we start classes. Classes average about 20 people per class. Mm -hmm. So um, as the weeks go, like the first week you're all going to be in a classroom together, like when you were in elementary school, all learning everything that you need to know. Mm -hmm. The second week you're going to be about five people to one instructor. That's going to be you guys calming are all around the trucks, learning everything you need to know. The third week, at that point, you're going to be um, about the same ratio, about five to one, three to one, somewhere around there. Oh. Okay, okay. Now, last but not least, let's, let's, oh. oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. What you was about to say? One thing that we want to talk about is those contract trainings that you were talking about. Right. So those are actually one of the most expensive ways to get trained. It's definitely not free. The problem with contract training is that they'll only pay you 12 to 20 cents per mile for your first year during your contract term. Right. Which will be around $20,000 in lost wages for the first year. Right. After... Yeah. So that is the reason that you don't want to sign the contract. Another thing that you want to think about is if you were to sign that contract and I mean, you're you're a student driver at that point. This is one of the first times that you've ever been in a truck in your life. I mean, every teenager, you know, wrecks their car as a young adult. Mm -hmm. So there's a likelihood that you're going to take the mirror off of one of these trucks, especially in contract training. And they're going to fire you and you're not going to be able to work in the CDL industry for two years. Mm. What just because, because I they not have those non-complete causes? Just because I because I mean you know this is my first time driving a truck and I knock a mirror off and I'm I'm ostracized for two years. Yep, because you signed a non-compete clause in those contract trainings. Oh, okay, 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 and that's with one of them truck driving companies. I mean truck driving, I mean truck driving trucking companies that offer CDL schooling. Yeah, I would have to sign one of their yep. mm -hmm. one of their non complete clause. Yep. Oh, that is something that I gotta Okay, that's something that I haven't thought about. Because I thought like if I yeah. just I thought if I you know, I talked to a lot of drivers that signed the contract but then they left and then they was able to because you know, they all in the Facebook group going like yeah, no problem. You can go to CRST and 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 get your license from them, and then and then sign the contract, and then bounce from them. It, it won't be no 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 fallback from that. But you're actually saying that there, there will be a fallback if if we was to go that route. Yeah, they're going to require you to stay out on the road months and months at a time with very to little no home time. If you go to a private school like us, you can get a job with a reputable, reputable company mm -hmm. that will pay you about $800 to $1,000 a week plus benefits. So in most cases, be home every other weekend. On top of that, you have tuition reimbursement that will pay close to 100% of your tuition. Contract training is definitely not free, and you're going to make about 300 to $400 per week for the first year. Why would you do that when you can be making eight hundred to a thousand dollars a week? Mm. Okay, okay. So the benefits before I let you go, and thank you, thank you very much for your time. Uh, the benefits that before I, before I let you go is, uh, and I'm 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 reading this verbatim off your website. You said that number one is the cost, number two is the commitment, uh, the cost and commitment uh, of what you guys can offer. Um, and then the difference, uh, the difference between you guys, definitely number one is the no upfront uh, cost to you guys, unless we want to uh, pay upfront, which I see is a thousand dollars less than what uh, than what you guys actually charge the companies, right? Correct. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Of course. It it's I'll been a pleasure speaking to you. And if oh. you have any more questions, you just give me a call back here. My name is Taylor, and I'd love to chat with you. Not a problem. Thank you very much for your time, Taylor. And I will take this information back with me, <coughs> excuse me, to my social media outlets. And I will definitely lo let the people know about, uh, about, about your schooling. Thank you. Perfect. Have a great day. You too now. Let's see truck driving school. Woo! Listen here. Stop the clap. Listen here. You don't have no money? You want to know how to get into truck driving without, without no upfront fees? You don't have to go to a trucking company. 
you can go here to Tennessee Truck Driving School, which is located in Louisville, uh, Tennessee. Man, three short weeks, real world experience, every Monday. You can get up there. You just need your way up there. You know, I mean, Tennessee ain't, ain't that far. They they provide the, the lounging for you. You know, you, you probably might have to come up there with a, with a couple of hundred dollars to pay for your fees and permits and stuff like that. But the the main cost, you know, is 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 not out of pocket. It's not out of pocket. So if you're in a Tennessee, you know, if you stay in Tennessee or if not, you know, Give them a call, man. Tennessee Truck Driving School, 865-330-33. I'm sorry. (laughs) 865-330-0035. Check them out. Check them out. Um, Let's see some of the requirements before I get on up out of here. See some of the requirements. Now, They do have an extensive uh, requirement list. Of course, you got to be 21 years old. You need a valid license, of course. Uh, Have the basic fundamental skills to read, write, speak English as per FMCSA. Uh, Must be able to understand highway traffic signs and signals. Must be able to entry on reports and records. Must be lawful permanent resident of the United States must have an original or certified copy of a birth certificate to get the permit from the DMV must obtain a seven year MVR with no conventions in the past three years of any following DUI refusal to take a drug test, hit and run, leave the scene of the accident, careless, reckless driving. No more than one DUI in the past five years or two DUIs in a lifetime without getting a pre-hire letter from a carrier first. All students are required to take and pass a DOT physical and drug test prior to enrollment. A high school diploma or GED is not required to attend our school. It is also not required to obtain a job with any company that hires our students. However, if you do not have a high school diploma or GED, you will be required to take a simple ability to benefit test, which is the industry specific and shows that you are able to read and write and understand basic trucking related questions. Tennessee Truck Driving School out of Tennessee, y'all. Go ahead and check them out. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of the Lockout Man. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of the Lockout Man. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of the M. TC on the Lockout Men podcast show. If you like content or get value out of this content, Show support for the cause, man. Hit me up in the cash app. That's lockout men, dollar sign, lockout men, all right? These calls are not, are not, once again, are not sponsored, all right? You guys make the suggestions. I go through the suggestions, and I make the call for you guys to get the information that you will possibly want okay all right help me help you help me hook me up get me something to drink i need some coffee right now well again that's gonna do it i am done we are out of here like content like this and more like subscribe comment share hit that bell and that all button suggest who you want who you want on the next make the call videos and until then you guys take it easy and i'll see you in the next one peace Searching, 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 and searching, searching, searching.